Hey everybody, Mike from Most Exotics here. Today I'm going to be doing the uh, a misting system for my chameleons. Um, I've been using the Monsoon and the Mist King. Um, the Mist King works better than the Monsoon in my opinion. Um, more of a fine spray and um, I think it's more reliable really. The Monsoon I've been using, I've been, I'm on my third one in two years now. So, I just, this is going to be a lot better system, I think. Um, this should be able to hold 20 sprayers. For the Miss King system, that holds 20 sprayers, it's about 500 bucks. And everything here costs me about 200 So, we're going to see how it works out. Um, the hoses I got were 3 8 OD and quarter inch OD. OD is outside diameter. Um, I looked up pretty much everything on Amazon. I got the hoses from Menards because they're just cheaper and more convenient there. But uh, everything on Amazon, it's actually listed for for like a patio misting system if you look every, everything up. So I got the the 3 8 to be the supply and then the quarter inch is going to be going to the, to the nozzles. I have the T's which is 3 8 OD on either side, and where the T is, it's quarter inch. Um, I got the bucket. I mounted the bulkhead, 3 8 OD, on the top of the bucket, so this way I could just switch out the bucket full of water, and I could just switch the lid from bucket to bucket. Um, I got shutoff valves for each of, the, each of the nozzles. I got the bigger shutoff valves. Um, three eighths and quarter inch power system timer. This timer, um, where do you get this? Here, this one is an outlet timer. It does one um, one minute increments, and it has multiple settings on there. Um, what I noticed with the with the Miss King is you could have it running longer because it doesn't use up as much water, so. That's why one inc one minute increments is fine for a Miss King system, and these will hold a Miss King nozzle. So we're gonna start putting this together, and I'll show you how we do it, and hopefully everything works out uh, the way I had planned in my head. So we'll uh, keep you posted. All right. Well, the first thing we do is I got Teflon tape around the pump on each side. Teflon tape is just plumbing tape. That I added to the to the threads. Um, when you put it on, you want to make sure you wrap it the same way as you're going to put the the nut on there or the connector. But you want to make sure it's wrapping this way. So as you tighten it, it's going to keep the Teflon tape on this. So when you uh, when you put it on, you want to start it here and go around. So you should be pulling it in the direction you're going. Um, these guys do have washers so you put the washer in here and I really shouldn't even need Teflon tape but you put the washers in here and it should provide a, a seal um, also I put the the 3 8 hose in there um, might be might have to straighten it out a little bit more but um, when you put this 3 8 in here I'm just using a pair of snips to cut it um, when I do, I might have to clean it up a little bit. This is one I cut here. So, it should be fine. But, uh, it's both ends of it. You want to try and keep it as square as possible. And you want to put it in, I think this is the piece I'm going to use. We want to put it in, jeez. And you want to push it until it stops. There's going to be, it's going to stop like halfway. And you want to push it in a little bit more. And you'll feel it kind of click in there. Um, so I got it here. And then this one is going to go to this side here. I'll put this guy on, make sure it's pointed up. And then this will be the supply here. So continuing. Okay, so this is what we got. 
we got the hose coming out of the bucket into the pump and then out of the pump to the to the nozzles I have this as a relief um, just to in case I need to take some of the pressure off of the nozzles um, like I said this is pretty powerful pump and it could do up to 20 um, 20 nozzles so in case I need to relieve some of the pressure I could turn this valve on or off as needed um, and then this is 3 8 going to to the nozzles and I'll have it branching off like I said with the T's with a uh, quarter inch OD so that's what we got so far um, I think everything is in good shape I hooked up the pump to the power supply now this is off of the power supply there's an orange and a blue wire that has to go to a black and a red so basically I did orange to red and black to blue <laughs> um, I'm gonna put hook this up and test this before I do anything else um, I'm gonna have to bring this downstairs to where the cages are and run the run the hoses off the nozzles and stuff but before I do that I'm gonna fill put enough water in here to test out the pump and what I'm gonna do is have this nozzle just going into another bucket um, so I have uh, enough hose and stuff like that I'll just have the have all the hose run to a bucket and then cut it off wherever I need it later on but uh, we're gonna test this out I have this mounted to the bucket I just used screws actually from a uh, from the drywall molly kit um, it's got the blue plugs on there basically just whatever whatever I found around the house to secure this to the lid it does have a base on there so if it rattles or vibrates hopefully it won't be too bad um, you could always put um, dampers underneath here like rubber o-rings or something like that that you would find at Home Depot or Menards or wherever in order to uh, make it a little quieter so it doesn't rattle but I think this will hold tight enough where it's not gonna rattle on me so that's what we got so far okay well I tested out the the uh, pump and everything and everything seems to be working I'm gonna start uh, hooking up the water I had my my uh, nozzle for the monsoon over here so I took that out I ran the hose through the wall because the uh, pumps gonna be on the other side and then uh, got this hose running through so what I'm doing next is I'm making these guys Instead of having, uh, I didn't buy the, the Miss King system. And I have these lids left over from, from the tubs. Um, from these tubs here. So I'm using this, these guys. I just drill a hole. And I drill the hole for the, uh, for the mini screws to go in the top. And then what I'll do is put this guy here. Mini screw through these guys to those corners to hold it in place. And I'll put the nozzle in and continue on. I'll just go from cage to cage here and get all these uh, nozzles hooked up. So, so far so good. This is the 3 8 OD coming through. I'll have a uh, reducer on the end of this to bring it down to a quarter. And uh, this way it'll accept the, it'll accept the nozzles for the uh, Miss King system. So, keep on going here. Just another note here. I use I'm using these. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but they're self-tapping mini screws. Um, so this way, I pre-drill the holes back here, and I I use the self-tappers to go through the cage. It actually goes through pretty easy. I got one. I'm gonna feed this the nozzle through here, and then I'll finish the other three. As you can see, I have the holes lining up with the frame of the cage itself, with the outside frame. And I use the self-tapping mini screws to secure it. Um, I found with the Miss King system, if you don't have these, it does rattle a little bit. So hopefully this will help secure it down a little bit better and it won't rattle so much. So I'm doing it uh, with the self-tapping mini screws. Okay, so I got it all hooked up. Um, I did notice with these guys, if you put the screw hole too close to the corner, there's actually 
um, reinforcement in the corner here. So you have to keep it back a little bit. So some of them I can only get one screw back over here. So if you're doing these, these plates, you don't want to put the holes too close to the corner. I mean, this is actually, it's very secure. It's, I don't think even if it rattles, it's not going to go nowhere. So, uh, and I put a loop in there just to have a little extra room if I'm moving the cages around or whatever, just, uh, you know, have a little slack in the line. Um, I got my reducer on there. So we'll uh, hook up the bucket and uh, mister and the pump and everything on the other side of the wall. And I'll show you how that goes. All right, so it's all hooked up. I got coming to the shutoff valve here, going through the wall. I'm gonna have my hatchling rack on this wall. So that's why I have it in the corner here. Um, we're gonna plug it in. I did notice that this is loud, which is fine for down in the basement, but if you're uh, having it in a bedroom or in a living room or something like that, it is pretty loud. So uh, I'm gonna turn it on, show you. And then we're gonna check out the other side and see, make sure nothing's leaking. There is a four second delay on this um, when it's when the power's on, and it does pull about 17 watts. Um, if that's you know that matters to anybody, but uh, I'll show you how loud this thing is. And go. And wrong plug. It's not working. Okay, ready to go. Jeez, that thing is loud. <laughs> Have to make sure it's secure. So that's that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna have to play with the pressure a little bit, but it is a nice fine mist. And it does work pretty good. I think that lid's a little loose. I'm gonna have to try that, play with that. Okay, so I got the timer. Um, actually, it wasn't too hard to, to follow the directions and stuff like that. But uh, I have the timer set. It goes off every day at uh, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12, 2, and 4 o'clock. So every two hours. Um, this thing is loud, <laughs> but luckily it's down in the basement here. Um, everything looks good. Doesn't look like there's any drips anywhere. Um, I did have to open this valve. That's why I put it in here because it was spraying too hard in the cages. So I opened this valve a little bit. What I'm going to do is get a, I'm going to get a, uh, a bulkhead like here. I'm going to get it for a quarter. And this way I can put it inside the, the lid and I don't have to worry about it sliding out, which I don't think it will slide out anyway, but just peace of mind. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. Goes off a, a minute every two hours. I have the lights on a timer outside. So those go on at 7.30. So this will go on at 8. The lights go off at 7.30 at night. Um, and these will, this will stop. It won't spray after 6 o'clock until the next morning. So I think it'll work out good. Um, I do like the way it sprays and everything. It's a nice fine mist. So um, yeah, so that's how we did it. Um, got any questions, leave me in the comments. And uh, I do have uh, Instagram, so if you want to check us out there, uh, I do post a lot of pictures and everything else on there. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hopefully we have a lot of upcoming uh, hatchings and stuff like that coming up. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.